Today we're getting a little adventurous with our wine palettes, trying a few white wines that you may think are a little unusual, but are the standard in other parts of the world like Greece and Spain and Portugal. Our wine and spirits expert and founder of Dallas Uncorked, Haley Hamilton Cogill, is here with a few non-traditional whites that are ideal for summertime sipping. It's still hot. It's still summertime. It's still so hot. It's, I mean, it's going to be 100 degrees today. It's going to be 100 degrees all week. So thought I would do something. Yes, we love Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc or yes. Pinot Grigio. We're used to all those kind of traditional um, mm -hmm. varieties, but wanted to bring a few that would be a little bit more unique, a little unusual, starting with an Assertico. This one's from Gaia. I love a Certico. It's the white wine of Greece. It's you think the whitewashed walls and sunshine and all of that uh -huh. beauty. And so a Certico is a very, very crisp, very acidic wine that really goes well with the cuisine of the region, which is basically a lot of fish, a lot of right. really fresh light. vegetables, lots, very light, very light really entrees. crisp, <laughs> really beautiful. This one, I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite producers is from this one Santorini. That you found on your, one of your trips. I did. I did. Uh. We actually had a chance to um, to meet with this wine maker he also teaches a lot okay. um, um the, it's a really special wine that i just love it think it's okay it's a good fantastic i want to taste that wine. now you've completely sold me on it it's a great <laughs> one and it's also i think it's about 29 dollars you can find it at specs that's good yes next one is a simeon simeon we usually think of as the um it's a blending grape in Bo in the bordeaux region for a white bordeaux it's kind of the white wine that goes into making sauternes so okay. usually made into a sweet wine but mm -hmm. on its own is a still wine it's very very fresh it has some nice texture and, a, and some good weight so it can actually um, blend or it can pair nicely with like a roast chicken or that like grilled good. pork or something like yes. that. This one's from La Cole in, in Columbia Valley, Washington. Okay. Um, Washington State has actually really done well with this particular variety and I just love it really and it's also very affordable about $14. You can oh, find yeah. it um, nice. also at Specs. Um, next one is from Esparo. We've had um, Dave Baverstock, their, their winemaker on before. Uh -huh. um, this is his Verdello. Verdello is also usually used as as a blending grape in Madeira, another um, kind of sweet fortified wine. Mm -hmm. But on its own, it has those great stone fruit, lots of kind of tropical notes mm -hmm. that I, I really love in white wines. I think okay. they're really, really special. Um, and, and it's also incredibly affordable. You can find it for about $15 at Whole Foods. I love your price points. Um, you're and you're keeping try, me in budget, Well, Haley. I try to keep everything. <laughs> My you know, husband's going to be so happy. Because it's also, you, these are kind of light white wines that you don't want to, you're going to, I don't want to call it a porch pounder, but they could take technically be a porch pounder. Serve them really cold and, and enjoy them on the patio when, yeah. when it's really nice and warm outside. Okay. Next one is an Albarino from Condes de Alberi. It's, um, I, I came on a few weeks ago and talked about these wines of Riesch Bosch's. This is one of the co-ops in the region. Um, all of their, their grapes are grown in the Salnos region, so it's kind of one of the cooler parts mm -hmm. of, of Riesch Bosch's in Galicia. Um, so it has lots of nice citrus notes mm -hmm. with that good minerality and lots of kind of steeliness. Okay. So it's not going to be be too fruity it's going to be really really nice and light i love this wine i think it's a really really special special producer from a really stunning part of, of the this region. one's open i'm, I'm what, curious what, what are we drinking our glasses yes yeah, sorry <laughs> what are we drinking you're just like hurry up <laughs> Haley. i want to know <laughs> um, this is triana's white triana is is one of the hope family wines in paso robles but the actual blend that's in this bottle is a marsan viognier blend and so basically it's two different white grapes from the rhone region of france so southern okay. france um Lots and lots of stone fruit and floral notes. Okay. I think if you wanted to give it a try. Sure. I think this is one of the just such a special wine coming out of California. And I really think that these white rounds are, are kind of the the next up and coming um, grapes that we're going to see a lot more of. It's really, um, really pretty. Really light. Yeah. Really special. I think that it has, like I said, lots of stone fruit with those kind of light white floral notes. So mm -hmm. um, pretty, pretty and light would also be really, really nice even carrying it into like the fall with some of your maybe with serving as a first course with Thanksgiving one of those kind of wines. I was thinking like some nice spaghetti squash. Or, and, exactly. Oh yeah, exactly. I'm it feeling can, it. it. I'm feeling really, it. It's coming. And then the last one is from Stag's Leap. This is their single varietal um, Viognier. So we had a little blend of Viognier then as I was saying I think mm -hmm. Viognier is continuing to come on. Um, lots of white peach, lots of white nectarine kind of notes, really special wine um, from the heart of Napa Valley. They had used it predominantly as, as Viognier is traditionally used in Rome as a blending grape in red wines. Okay. Now it's, um, but it's a white grape and it's, it's 
made it on, made, making its way on its own. So really, really special wines. You are like our resident perfect. <laughs> we're, we're drinking you, a lot. <laughs> but I just like, I mean, for a girl, and I know our viewers that don't know a whole lot about wines, I just rest on you awesome. and you bring it Thank and you. beautiful white wines for the end of summer. It's still hot enough to do this. So, exactly. And, and these are, and, and affordable. And they're affordable. affordable and they're also really <laughs> interesting. And so if you wanted to open up something, especially at a dinner party, maybe, you know, make your guest, surprise your guests a little bit, okay. then I think they, they'd awesome. really enjoy it. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. You can find out more about these wines by going to Haley's website. It's DallasUncorked.com. All right, we're getting to fulfill our ALS Ice Bucket Challenge with Zaza Morning Team from 1037 KVIL. Stick around. It's about time to get wet. We'll be right back. <laughs>